Yaya Sinwar's story began in Khan Yunus, a densely populated refugee camp in the Gaza Strip. This camp, like many others, was a symbol of the enduring struggle and resilience of the Palestinian people. Born in 1952, Sinwar's early life was profoundly shaped by the tumultuous aftermath of the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. This conflict led to the creation of the State of Israel and the displacement of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians. The displacement and dispossession experienced by his family, like many others, fueled a deep-seated yearning for a Palestinian homeland. The refugee camps were filled with stories of lost homes and a longing to return. Growing up in the Gaza Strip, Sinwar witnessed firsthand the hardships faced by his community under Israeli occupation. The daily reality of checkpoints, curfews, and military presence left an indelible mark on his psyche. These experiences laid the foundation for his unwavering commitment to the Palestinian cause. The spirit of resistance was a constant presence in his life, shaping his worldview and future actions. In his youth, Sinwar displayed a strong sense of social justice and a fierce determination. He was deeply involved in community activities and was known for his leadership qualities even at a young age. He was known for his charisma and his ability to connect with people from all walks of life. His ability to articulate the struggles and aspirations of his people made him a natural leader. These qualities would later prove instrumental in his rise as a leader. His speeches and public appearances drew large crowds, and his message resonated deeply with the Palestinian people. His education was interrupted by his activism, highlighting his early commitment to the Palestinian cause. Despite the challenges, he remained focused on his goal of achieving freedom for his people. Sinwar's formative years in Khan Yunus were thus a crucible, forging within him a steely resolve to fight for the liberation of his people. The experiences of his youth were a microcosm of the broader Palestinian struggle. Sinwar's early experiences instilled in him a profound understanding of the plight of his people. He saw firsthand the impact of occupation on daily life, from economic hardships to social restrictions. He witnessed the poverty, the lack of opportunities, and the daily humiliations of life under occupation. These experiences were not just personal, but were shared by the entire community. These experiences fueled his desire for change and his belief that armed struggle was the only way to achieve Palestinian self-determination. The sense of urgency and the need for action were ever-present in his mind. Sinwar's early life was a microcosm of the broader Palestinian experience, marked by displacement, dispossession, and a burning desire for freedom. His journey from a refugee camp to a prominent leader is a testament to his resilience and dedication to his people's cause. Sinwar's commitment to the Palestinian cause deepened significantly in the 1980s, a period marked by intense political and social upheaval in the region. During this transformative period, he played a pivotal role in the formation of Hamas, a Palestinian Islamist movement that emerged as a powerful force in the fight against Israeli occupation. Hamas quickly became a symbol of resistance and a beacon of hope for many Palestinians. Sinwar, along with other key figures, established the Izzadin al-Qassam Brigades, Hamas's military wing. This group was named after a revered Palestinian leader and was dedicated to armed struggle. The Al-Qassam Brigades, under Sinwar's leadership, quickly gained notoriety for their daring and often deadly attacks against Israeli targets. Their operations were meticulously planned and executed with precision. Their tactics, ranging from suicide bombings to rocket attacks, were condemned by Israel and its allies as acts of terrorism. These actions led to severe repercussions and escalated the conflict. However, for many Palestinians, Sinwar and the Al-Qassam Brigades were seen as freedom fighters, bravely resisting what they perceived as an illegal and oppressive occupation. Their actions were viewed as a necessary response to decades of suffering and displacement. Sinwar's activities did not go unnoticed by Israeli authorities. His growing influence and the increasing effectiveness of the Al-Qassam brigades made him a prime target. In 1988, he was arrested by Israeli forces and sentenced to four life terms in prison for his role in the kidnapping and killing of two Israeli soldiers. This was a significant blow to Hamas, but it did not end Sinwar's influence. His imprisonment, however, did little to diminish his influence. Even behind bars, Sinwar remained a central figure in Hamas, continuing to guide and inspire the movement. Behind bars, 
Sinwar continued to exert significant control over Hamas's operations, solidifying his image as a ruthless and effective leader. His ability to lead from within the prison walls was a testament to his strategic mind and unwavering commitment. Sinwar's time in prison was marked by both hardship and defiance. He faced years of solitary confinement and harsh treatment, yet he never wavered in his resolve. He endured years of solitary confinement and harsh treatment, yet his spirit remained unbroken. He used this time to strengthen his resolve and deepen his understanding of the struggle. He used his time in prison to study, reflect, and further develop his ideology. This period of introspection and learning only served to make him a more formidable leader. Sinwar emerged from prison in 2011 after 22 years of incarceration, more determined than ever to achieve Hamas's goals. His release was seen as a victory and a symbol of resilience for many Palestinians. Sinwar's release from prison in 2011 marked a turning point in his life and in the trajectory of Hamas. He returned to Gaza a hero, greeted by throngs of cheering supporters. His years behind bars had done little to diminish his influence. In fact, they had only served to enhance his standing within Hamas. Sinwar quickly rose through the ranks of the organization, assuming a more prominent leadership role. Sinwar's leadership style was characterized by a combination of pragmatism and unwavering commitment to Palestinian resistance. He understood the need for Hamas to engage in political processes, but he never wavered in his belief that armed struggle was a legitimate means to achieve Palestinian self-determination. In 2017, Sinwar was elected as the leader of Hamas in the Gaza Strip, a testament to his growing influence within the organization. His election was seen by many as a sign that Hamas was taking a more hardline stance towards Israel. Sinwar's leadership was marked by a period of heightened tensions with Israel. He oversaw several rounds of intense fighting, including a major conflict in 2021, demonstrating his willingness to confront Israel militarily. However, he also recognized the importance of diplomacy and sought to engage with regional and international actors to advance the Palestinian cause. Yahya Sinwar's leadership had a profound impact on the Palestinian struggle, shaping the course of events in ways that were both significant and controversial. His uncompromising stance against Israel, coupled with his strategic acumen, made him a formidable figure in the region. Sinwar's approach was marked by a blend of military prowess and political maneuvering. Sinwar's tenure at the helm of Hamas coincided with a period of significant change and upheaval in the Middle East. The region was already a hotbed of conflict, and his leadership added another layer of complexity to the geopolitical landscape. Under Sinwar's guidance, Hamas strengthened its military capabilities, acquiring more sophisticated weaponry and developing new tactics. This included the use of tunnels for smuggling and surprise attacks, which became a hallmark of their strategy. This, in turn, led to a shift in the balance of power in the region with Hamas posing a more credible threat to Israel's military dominance. The increased military capability of Hamas forced Israel to rethink its strategies and defense mechanisms. Sinwar also understood the importance of international diplomacy. He was acutely aware that military strength alone would not suffice in the long-term struggle for Palestinian rights. He sought to cultivate relationships with regional powers like Iran and Turkey, recognizing the need for allies in the face of Israeli and American pressure. These alliances provided Hamas with financial and military support, bolstering their position. His efforts, however, were often met with suspicion and resistance, as many countries remained wary of Hamas's ideology and tactics. The international community was divided, with some viewing Hamas as a legitimate resistance movement and others as a terrorist organization. Sinwar's leadership was not without its critics. Within Palestine, there were those who questioned his methods and the direction in which he was leading the movement. His detractors, both within and outside Palestine, accused him of being intransigent and of prioritizing armed struggle over the welfare of the Palestinian people. They argued that his focus on military action exacerbated the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. They argued that his policies led to increased suffering in Gaza, which faced a crippling Israeli blockade and repeated military incursions. The blockade severely restricted the flow of goods and services, leading to widespread poverty and hardship. Despite the criticism, 
Sinwar remained a popular figure among many Palestinians, particularly in Gaza. His ability to inspire and mobilize the masses was undeniable. He was seen as a strong and decisive leader who was willing to stand up to Israel and defend the rights of his people. For many, he embodied the spirit of resistance and the hope for eventual liberation. His legacy, however, remains complex and contested, inextricably linked to the ongoing struggle for Palestinian self-determination. The impact of his leadership will be debated for years to come as the region continues to grapple with the consequences of his actions.